So this morning I've taken a trip down the Jurassic Coast in East Dorset. Um, the initial reasons for being down here is actually to capture some drone footage, but while I'm down here I figured I would also take the time to uh, have a look for any fossils that may, may have appeared. Um, East Dorset is very unproductive, especially compared to West Dorset in terms of its fossil material. However, some, some fossils do appear here. Um, as you can see, the tide is in this morning and that doesn't help with my ability to look for any fossils. Um, however, we'll still keep an eye and see what may have washed up. So, it's quite common down here to find a few fragments of ammonites. Very uncommonly you do find whole ones. A lot of imprints, a lot of casts, but nothing, generally speaking, too impressive, which is, a, which is always a little bit disappointing. But, there's always something here. Often the preservation here isn't great, and what you find is that the majority of ammonites are crushed, and then you find these flat pieces amongst the shingle where they just break because there's no rigidity to them. If you kind of dig through these mudstones, these dried mudstones, they, they crack and fall apart. And as you can see, like you do get pieces of ammonites in them, which again, often very fragile, but the tiniest little ones seem to stay 3D and tiny little gastropod as well. Going through these mudstones, you find a lot of impressions, a lot of the shell, which is this white powdery, chalk-like substance. And you find a lot of evidence of life, but nothing overly spectacular. The larger ammonites are crushed. But you do, every now and again, find some intact, although crushed. And then you find these 3D, tiny little ammonites, which are really kind of adorable. but you also find very, you do find a few belemnites here. Not many, and through this age of rock, the, the upper Jurassic, the, the Kimmeridgian, there is very few. It's only in the, the, the latest Kimmeridgian they start to reappear. But even then, they're not very frequent. Now these rocks I'm walking amongst are no longer Kimmeridgian in age. However, that doesn't matter because conglomerations of rock like this do provide great places for washed up fossils to kind of gather and get captured. Although, as previously mentioned, you don't get many fossils here, so you don't find many washed up fossils either. But still, there, there is stuff to be found.
This is one of the nicest finds I've ever found, and it's one of the paddle bones from a, a Kemerigian plesiosaur, which is uh, a little bit water-worn, but been washed up here and caught amongst these rocks. 